them. Klansmen for Mississippi! Mississippi! Klansmen for America! For America! White power! White power! White power! What do you have to lose? You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no jobs. 58% of your youth is unemployed. What the hell do you have to lose? We'll pull a lap on the other side of America. Where do I start? Where do I start? It took me a while to do this video because of all the anger and frustration that I had. I knew if I did a video right off, that it wouldn't come off right. But I feel like now, I'm kinda at a state that I can talk about this without getting fully enraged. I'm not gonna promise that I'm gonna get upset, not gonna get upset on this video. Probably will. But I'm gonna try my best not to. So, in the wake of police brutality, of uh, straight up murder, we have had two weeks plus of protests. So, I've seen comments, I've seen videos, I've seen all types of things on this subject and the more I watch the more angry I get you got people that really truly don't understand what a black person has to go through period police brutality I tackle that first that's getting misconstrued on both sides because of the simple fact they're saying fuck the police but it's more so directed in the way of the white police my personal opinion is fuck the police because they're fucked up white cops but if you best believe it's fucked up black cops as well. So, that notion in my mind about white cops, it's just the white cops. Nah, it ain't just no white cops. White cops, black cops, no matter what color they is, fucked up cops, it's fucked up cops. Am I saying all cops are bad? Nah, absolutely not. Some good cops out there somewhere. They out there. I ran into a couple of them. But for the most part, the majority of my life have been messed up cops. A lot of white ones, they black ones out there too. But for me to come up here and say all cops is fucked up, that, that'll be naive on my part because we know better just like it's, it's white people out here it's good white people out here it, it, it's good white people nice white people don't have hate in their heart for nobody but you got these rebel flag toting white supremacist kkk motherfuckers that be on that bullshit them bad ones are they the majority probably not no more but who knows, because there's a lot of you closet people out there that scared to voice your opinion how you really feel about a black person. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to stay in the lane is I, I, I set a lane for myself. And just to let y'all know, if y'all waiting on some facts or some shit from the internet, I'm gonna give you some facts. 
but they're gonna be some they're not gonna be no internet antifa bullshit or whatever else these youtube been putting on this on this thing to justify that black lives don't matter or justifying that it ain't no police brutality or it ain't no racism all that you, you think i'm coming with that you might well turn the video off this ain't about to be nothing off no internet out of no book or none of that what i'm stating today is something that i done seen with my own two my own two eyes so i know it's real so i know it's facts so you can't sit up here and tell me that i'm being brainwashed by a media or anything. I done seen this one and experienced it with my own two. Yeah. Police probably do kill more whites than blacks. The percentage of white to black is like 70% white to 13% black. So, obviously, y'all probably will be getting messed with in a whole total if you rack up all the numbers and put them together like that but in most instances you can be in denial all you want you know damn well well you might not know let me take that back because it might be some of y'all a lot of y'all from the white community and maybe some from the black community that have never stayed in the hood or nowhere near hood to even know how police interact you're just trying to go off numbers and all the other bullshit. But let me tell you how it is to be a black man. A black man that looks like a black man. Not portraying to be a black man, by the way. Just want to put that out there. A black man with black skin. That if they get pulled over by the police, they get harassed for no reason. Automatically thinking they selling drugs because they got a nice car. Automatically think... They're up to no good because you want to you want to ride somewhere with four of y'all in the car. Getting called boy. I'm from Mississippi, player. I don't know how many of y'all y'all think that boy shit and all that stopped in the 60s. Y'all dead damn wrong. I guarantee you got you got a couple. You got a few on that force right now. And all them little cities and towns in, in Mississippi. And still with that boy shit. Best believe it. You better believe it. I had so many run in with the police, white ones and black ones. Majority white ones. That be with the dumb shit. Some black ones that be with the dumb shit. I have ran across white police that ain't men with the shit. That that been cool. Check, check my life, check my uh, hand insurance, let me go. Like I said, all of them ain't bad. If I was to say all of them bad, I'd be naive. I'd be real naive in the fact that that I know is is some good police in the world. Just like I said earlier. But for y'all to say and y'all to listen to a person that will that will that will follow follow the internet and follow idiots that say police brutality is a myth you got your damn mind and what do i define as police brutality not just getting killed see that's where that's where if you want to say some brainwashing going oh well they ain't not getting killed every day they're not getting killed every day you're getting killed a lot but what about all the time that you ain't doing nothing you being harassed what about having to ride around and not doing anything and when you see a police officer jump behind you hoping pray he ain't pulling you over because you don't even want to go through the emotions you legit your license straight you got insurance on the car kind your name tag of the date everything straight you ain't you ain't doing you ain't got nothing illegal in the car you ain't been drinking and driving and you ain't been doing nothing every white man gonna do what not even studying the police the average black man, he's still gonna be peeping in the, in that rearview mirror to make sure them blue lights don't come on. Even though he know he ain't did nothing, he just know it's a recipe for disaster. That's the that's the fear that 
black people have to go around and live with every time they come out the house and get in the car, try to go somewhere and do something. Whether it be go to the store and come back home or try to go out and have some fun. Go out on a date. Try, trying to get home. No matter what it is. It don't matter what it is. Black people have to live with that fear. White people don't. And if you don't agree, I don't give a fuck. Because that's a fact. I got plenty of white friends that I done been in the car with. And we done got pulled over. And the conversation that he got and the conversation that I got was completely fucking different. I ain't telling you something that I read. I'm telling you something that, that I experienced a few times. I done been thrown down on the ground by police a few times. I done got roughed up by the folks a few times. And it, and it wasn't just no regular rough up either. I'm not telling you nothing that I, I just I just I think or none of that. And now and being and being that I'm talking about that, about thinking. And, and 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 assuming how somebody should feel when you don't know. I done seen videos telling. I'm just gonna say it how it is. If you think that you can tell me how to feel about this situation and you ain't black, and you ain't black. You don't know what the hell went on before you before you even open your mouth and come to me. If you hear the sound of my voice, not just let me know. Don't do that shit, cause you can't fucking tell me how to fucking feel about a black situation. Do it sign if it sound racist, then damn it, it, it is what it is. Cause I'm just telling you what uh, the truth. You can't tell me how to feel, especially when I have. Experienced that firsthand. I ain't died. I don't been harassed. I don't been in the situation that I might have could have died if it was if it was the situation that George Floyd and Eric Garner, Michael Brown, and and a, and a list of others that was in. In that similar type of situation, I just got lucky. I just got lucky because I know any day of the week I could have been George Floyd. I could have been the one with with. Gas fell while somebody had their knee on my neck. I'm not mad because they pushing a damn narrative about Black Lives Matter and all this other shit. I'm mad because this shit keep happening and I keep seeing it. And I know it's real and you trying to see her be and tell me that it ain't. And I'm not about to motherfucking listen to what the fuck you saying because I know what I know. I know what I done experienced. So you can't tell me that. You can't tell me that none of this is real and all of this is, is a media blow up. Fuck no. Just like you're going to tell me the KKK don't do no rallies no more. Did you see the first part of the video? Did you see the Ku Klux Klan? Modern day in Mississippi. Still doing the same ritual that they did way back in black and white in the 60s. That's why I put it on now. Cause, Cause, some people, some people are are very ignorant and illiterate to the fact of what what still goes on. And just like I said in my opening, are you rebel flag, Confederate flag? Told, let me use the proper term, Confederate flag. Told motherfuckers, don't even talk to me. You some racist. You goddamn it, representing racism with that funky ass flag that you fly. That's what you represent. Don't bring that bullshit near me. I'll burn your funky ass flag. And that's a fact. Fuck you and your flag. Moving on. You got certain YouTubers out here that claim that they don't want to be 
considered as a racist. But the way that you talk, the way that you explain things, I ain't gonna say you a straight up racist, but you got a little bit of it in you. I tell you that much. But I give you the benefit of the doubt and play devil's advocate and just say that everything that you and, and, and people like you, all, all, all the YouTube that have been doing this type of video that, I've been, that I'm talking about, trying to explain why white people do, white people have been getting killed more than blacks and, and, and everybody screaming black lives matter and you want to turn around and say all lives matter like somebody that don't fucking know that shit. About to touch on that. This is what I'm saying. First, anybody with a with a right mind knows that all lives matter. Everybody life on this earth matter. No matter if you're black, white, Latino, Puerto Rican, Irish, French, German, Russian, Chinese, Japanese, whatever. Everybody knows that. But I've been hearing, I've been hearing a lot of, uh, I've been hearing the saying going around, and, and, and it's a, it's, it's, it's a great saying because it's accurate. If I got ten houses on the block. And one one house on fire, and I call the fire department and say, "Hey man, the house on the block, it's on fire." And they say, "Well, what about the other houses? All these houses matter, but all these damn houses ain't burning. Do all lives matter? Yes." But the black lives is the one at risk right now. The black lives is the one being taken right now. I don't give a damn about no statistics. I don't give a damn about how many people in the year, percentage wise, from whites and more than blacks. I'm talking about right motherfucking now. In the past two weeks, we have seen not only George Floyd, but another list of others. We got two more cases that happened right before George Floyd got killed. Amar Arbery getting chased down. Breonna Taylor getting gunned down in her house, in her own house. When they kicked in the dope thing and there's some dope in there, and ain't nothing in there, and they ain't even got the right house. The person charged with the crime ain't even charged with the crime no more. But they ain't gonna bring that girl back. Whatever Amar Arbery was doing with my videos that I seen, he went and looked in the house and then all of a sudden it cuts to them chasing down the road. But we all know now there's a whole lot more to that story and it's all coming out. Cause they got the weakness link in custody. And he gonna tell it all. It's already coming out. It was some racist shit. Don't give a fuck what y'all feel and how y'all feel about it. It was some racist shit. That's exactly what the fuck it was. This is what happening right now. Right now. So if you trying to protest against a protest, you part of the problem, as they'll say, to put it nicely. But you already know what it is. You already know what it is from me. If you've been listening to this video this long, you already know what it is. And all this Antifa bullshit that you want to put out. I'm a conspiracy theorist. But I know one thing. Them people, majority of them people protesting in the street when they say black lives matter. They not trying, they not talking about no cult shit. They mean that shit. Even white ones and, and, and all races that's out there saying Black Lives Matter, they not no fucking code or whatever the fuck you trying to portray this shit to disown the fact that, that blacks are out here getting killed and blacks have been, been the weakest link for 
years on pun years on pun years. See that 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 pisses me off. That that pisses me really. <laughs> It, it, it pisses me off. I'm gonna try to collect my thoughts because I said I wasn't gonna try to get all the way turned up on this video. But it pisses me off because you're trying to you tr you're trying to devalue what really going on out here. You see what you're on too. What's really going on? You ain't gotta see it on no CNN, no Fox News, no MSNBC, or none of that. Some of us don't. Most of you on the other side probably have to because you never step foot in the hood. You probably were too damn scared. And the ones talking like they know some black history and claiming to be black, you know shit about no damn nothing. You don't know shit about nothing. And I know you don't. Am I prejudging you goddamn right now? I don't give a fuck. Because I can look at you and tell you you ain't never been nowhere on that other side. Never. Ain't know nothing about you. Nothing about you say black. Don't nothing about you say that you have been pulled over by the police and been harassed. Don't nothing about you make it seem like you've been racially profiled. You doing something because you a black man in a white neighborhood. Nothing. Moving on. I would be naive to the fact to say that we that we don't have a problem in our own community. We do. We need to start killing each other. And that's a fact. We need to start killing each other over petty shit. Is, is everybody going to get along all the time? Hell no. This world ain't even made like that. There's too many different type of people for everybody to get along all the time. But all this senseless killing amongst each other, we definitely got to stop. And stuff like this that's going on right now, definitely seeing what type of time certain people are on. And what type of time that you might have thought certain people wasn't on, but they showing their true colors in this time. To my black brothers and sisters, man, we need we need to get it together too. We can't put all this on them. Yeah, it's fucked up. They killing us. We can't add to it by killing each other. We gonna have to chill out. We gonna have to chill out. Will it be a world one day that everybody could get along? Maybe so. Do I believe it's anytime soon? Nah. I feel like this is a great first step. And what I've been seeing, as far as everybody coming together for a call, and it seemed like it ain't died out like the others died out, but we gotta, we gotta make sure that we don't let this die out and we gotta do our part at black people on our end to straighten out our own shit. So we got some shit with us too. But, only reason I say that is because you already know what the other part is about. And with they leader, they real bold these days. Real bold. So we gonna have to do what we gotta do to make our stuff better. Y'all just think about that. But let me ask a simple question. I just wanna ask white people, all of them. I just wanna ask this question. Have y'all ever had to talk to your child about what to do when pulled over by the police? Have you ever had to have a conversation about how to act, how or what not to do and what to do when pulled over by a police officer? 
Have you ever had to talk to your child about making sure that they keep their hands visible? Making sure they ride with their wallet on the dashboard and not in their back pocket so they won't have to reach for it and the police think it's a gun and shoot them and kill them. Have y'all ever had to have that conversation with your kids? Leave it in the comments if you did. I don't think I'm gonna get too many yeses on that. From whites anyway. Black parents, I know. Then I had the conversation. I done had the conversation numerous times. I'm just tired of it, man. I'm tired of being profiled. I'm tired of the police killing us. I'm tired of the racist motherfuckers in this world. I'm tired of it, man. And in closing, to the bitch that said if we don't like this country, we can go back to Africa. You can suck a sweaty ass dick, you racist bitch. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Suck a sweaty dick, bitch. Fuck you and anybody that think like you. And to everybody with a sound mind and common sense and ain't with that racist shit everybody keep doing what they doing and try to make their world a better place it gonna be a long time but as long as we keep trying they get there one day teach your kids to love one another no matter what they look like, no matter the color of their skin, it don't matter. And if enough of us do that, the next generation behind us probably be a whole lot better. Y'all be easy out there, man. And y'all stay safe. Not just on the road, but in this game we call life. It's your boy Chris the Trucker. I'm out this bitch. Putting life on the other side. Same corner where my brothers died. Living like we ain't got care. Told my mama I ain't dying here. 40 on me, I ain't buying beer. Ain't have a wheel, now I'm flying Lear. Bunch of fellas on the jab with me. Make a movie like it's current air. Started off in the basement, now it's rooftops in the burn air. Still fighting over cases. I don't bail, nigga, but it's my year. Summertime, make it cold out. Heater on me like a mind clear. Closet bigger than my old house. Thinking about it, I was fine there. 